Fred Kesselman, active 69-year-old from Memphis and veteran of three marathons, noticed a sudden change. I work out quite a bit and I realized my aerobic capacity was declining. My breathing was very bad. I couldn't walk 100 feet without stopping. So I went to a neurologist and boom, ALS. Patient with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease develops weakness of their breathing muscles. Most patients with ALS die because they can't breathe anymore. Now you can start straightening out your needle some. So Dr. Raymond Anders developed a way to help these patients breathe. Oh, wait, a diaphragm that. pacing system, or DPS, that. implanting a small Can electrode in that? Fred Kesselman's diaphragm. Perfect. We can then use this device for the patient to turn it on and actually stimulate their diaphragm. When it stimulates their diaphragm, it allows the diaphragm to contract. If the diaphragm contracts, it maintains its strength. Fred became the first ALS patient to receive diaphragm pacing since Dr. Anders received FDA approval earlier this year, traveling from Tennessee to Cleveland for the procedure. Only because of Dr. Anders and the work he was doing, uh, the reputation that he had. Sorry, right, just take a look here. That reputation included the first pediatric diaphragm pacing, taking a child off a ventilator. I'm flashing. Sure. And before that, in 2003, doing the same for Superman, Christopher Reeve, after he suffered his severe spinal cord injury and became a quadriplegic. And the publicity around it, surrounding Christopher Reeve's operation led to ALS patients contacting us. And now, the ALS work is personal for Dr. Anders, who lost his sister earlier this year from ALS. When you have Chris's conditions, you don't He's want now committed to giving others more time with their loved ones. We're still doing a lot of research to look for the cure. Uh, this at least allows patients the quality of life of breathing better. This is my better half. <laughs> this is my best. I'm feeling great now and wide awake. And, and we can't wait to get back to our lives, that's for sure. A better life for Fred to spend with his grandkids okay. and his loved ones. Vic Gideon. University Hospital's Case Medical Center News Service. This is my